Today on Inquirer President-elect Ferdinand Bombong Marcos Jr. has tapped former Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile as his presidential legal counsel and outgoing Justice Secretary Menardo Guevara as his Solicitor General. In a statement, incoming Press Secretary Attorney Trixie Cruz Angeles said Enrile reaffirmed his commitment to serve the country and ensure the success of the incoming Marcos administration. Andrile, who is 98 years old, served as Interim Finance Secretary from 1966 to 1968, Justice Chief from 1968 to 1970, and National Defense Secretary from 1972 until 1986. Guevara, who is set to step down from his post as Justice Chief by the end of the month, will serve as Marcos Jr.'s first Solicitor General. Meanwhile, the president-elect also nominated former Armed Forces of the Philippines Chief of Staff, retired General Jose Faustino Jr. as senior undersecretary and officer in charge of the Department of National Defense. Faustino, according to Cruz Angeles, would later assume his post as secretary on November 13, 2022, in compliance with the one-year ban on the appointment of retired military officers under Republic Act 6975. The Mandaluyong Prosecutor's Office gave Jose Antonio San Vicente up to June 23 to answer the criminal complaints filed against him for ramming and leaving injured security guard Christian Floralde last June 5. San Vicente, who is facing complaints of frustrated murder and violation of Article 275 or abandonment of persons in danger and abandonment of one's own victim, was a no-show during the preliminary investigation on Friday. Only San Vicente's counsel, Attorney Danny Macalino, appeared before the prosecutor's office. He said they will still have to secure a copy of the complaint before responding. Meanwhile, Floralde personally appeared before the prosecutor's office. San Vicente is expected to personally appear before the prosecutor's office to subscribe to his counter-affidavit. At least one-third of Filipinos have felt that their lives took a turn for the worse after a year, according to a recent survey of the social weather stations. 34% of the respondents of the survey, taken from April 19 to 27, said that their quality of life was worse today than 12 months prior to the survey. 32% said their lives improved, while it stayed the same for the remaining 34%. Combining the percentage of people who felt their lives had gone worse and those who think that their lives improved yield a net gainer score of negative 2, which is categorized by SWS as a fair score. SWS said that compared to December 2021, this is already an improvement as a net gainer score back then was negative 16. Still, it is below the pre-COVID-19 pandemic score of plus 18. SWS further noted that the surveys have yielded a positive net gainer score since 2016, before scores deteriorated due to the health crisis that started in March 2020. In a statement, Acting Presidential Spokesman Martin Andanar said the SWS survey proves that the government's pandemic response is working. And the NAR said the result reaffirms that the country is on its way to full economic recovery. A group of taxi operators may soon be filing a petition for a fair hike, even if only for a provisional increase to cope with rising fuel prices. Jesus Bosuntai, president of the Philippine National Taxi Operators Association, on Thursday said his group is looking at filing a fair hike petition at the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board next week. Adding that what they are asking is already a fair request, the most humanitarian win-win solution. Sobra pong nahihirapan po kami sa sobrang taas ng gasolina po. Uh, sa pamamasada namin po, hindi na po kami nagkakaroon ng kita. Ano sideline mo ngayon po yan? Pagkador, ito, 40 pesos. Nakatape na ako, 20 o. Oh. Oh. 
Walang bawa sa gasolina. Walang bawa sa gasolina. Kailan nagkakalyo ang kamay namin? Kalyo na ang kamay namin. Nakabuhat. Yun muna ang sideline nyo habang walang pasahero. Siyempre. Nagtatsaga na lang po kami. Nagmamagdamag kami dito sa aming pilar. Para lang may may uwi sa pamilya kahit konti. Stephen Curry scored 34 points and the Golden State Warriors returned to NBA glory with a 103-90 victory over the host Boston Celtics in Game 6 of the Finals to win their first championship in four years. Andrew Wiggins scored 18 points and Jordan Poole added 15 as Golden State won its fourth title in eight seasons. Jalen Brown scored 34 points and Al Horford added 19 points and 14 rebounds for the Celtics, who were making their first NBA Finals appearances since 2010. Curry was named the NBA Finals Most Valuable Player by a unanimous vote. And that's the latest news today. For more stories, visit Inquirer.net. I'm Christian Ramos.